Hey y'all, I'm back and I got my hair out. I'm about to put it in a little low ponytail right now. Y'all, that's been my signature style. Please excuse my deodorant, child. Y'all know I use a natural deodorant. Hey human, in case y'all want to know about it. Um, it's a good, it's a good one as, as far as like if you want to use natural deodorants, like if other deodorants kind of cause you to have breakouts under your arm or something like that this one I would recommend personally because I've tried a few of them and stuff like that and I have basically liked this one a lot and if you need like a stronger scent or whatever or just like you need a stronger one in general you feel like oh natural deodorant is so like weak or whatever I actually have two types this one is the sage one but I'm gonna be real honest with you because this one is uh it says cedar wood and sage it smells like boy it smells like a man no shade so uh but it is it is stronger i feel than this one which kind of smells more girly so if you want to like sometimes i might put one layer of this one and one layer of this one just to kind of like mask the smell because this one smells like boy and it smells like boy all day it's so annoying i hate it i wish they would just like not make it scented or whatever but anywho, y'all, I am actually making this video because the last video I made, I just can't put it out, y'all, because I'm so hard on myself, y'all. I freaking, um, uh, what did I do, y'all? I basically did that video. I'm looking for my gel right now. I did that video and I realized as I was doing my makeup that I didn't put concealer on one eyeball and I just could not even think like oh my gosh like I'm gonna sit here and talk to y'all about cuz I because I'm gonna talk to y'all about shopping and aesthetics and whatnot today and yes I know what I'm doing I'm just not used to doing it on camera and talking at the same time so I will sometimes accidentally skip a step and y'all it's so frustrating because I will literally not put out a whole video with one little mistake like that. Like I started to put it out, like I uploaded and everything and I was just going to put like, oh yeah, I know I forgot that one little piece of thing, but it, my mind was just going to drive me nuts. So here we are. Um, and today I'm wearing my natural hair, as you can see. Um, I washed it and actually... I washed it with native shampoo I'm gonna show y'all which one I got because I also wanted to tell y'all about that product no I'm not sponsored but I know natural curly hair girls are always looking for something to help with just their hair in general like we're always well I'm not gonna say to help like we're just all just like you know what I'm saying held hostage or something by our hair but <laughs> There's something to be said, you know, curly hair girls go through a lot. And so we're always looking for products that are like good for our hair and whatnot. So um, I actually, that is, it was my first time ever trying native shampoo. Um, and yeah, I think that it's a pretty good shampoo, first of all. And it definitely is like, as far as ingredients, like, one of the best I've seen as far as like, it only has 10 ingredients, you know what I'm saying? No dyes, nothing like harsh and stuff. And um, the main reason why I picked up the Native Shampoo is because it also has a detangler inside of the shampoo. So I wanted to give that a real like try, okay? But right now, I'm just tying this around so I can just lay my little edges down and stuff like that and then i'll show y'all the perfume okay let's see is it right here no of course it isn't because if it was life would be too easy <laughs> okay okay y'all so this is the one that i got okay this one is native curl care shampoo it um, doesn't have a very strong, strong smell. It is coconut, milk, and turmeric. And so it basically smells like, you know, the stuff we normally use on our hair, like shea butter, uh, cocoa butter, like that type of stuff. And um, 
I just I like I like it to be honest. Um, it tells you that like what each ingredient is, and then kind of like defines that for you. A lot of them say uh, like plant oils and like uh, food grade salt for pH balance, for example, and food grade stuff. The fragrance is only coconut milk and turmeric, which is very important for girls like me because my skin is sensitive to fragrance. So I can't have like a bunch of fragrance in anything, not soap, not anything like that, or I will break out. And then the last ingredient is a hair detangler. So um, one thing I will say is that what I noticed about this is that after I, sh I after I washed my hair was that my curls were so 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 like defined and basically what I mean by that like my shrink my shrinkage was shrinking okay it was shrinkaging okay and basically I felt like it really like took care of my curls to a degree but at the same time it was kind of hard on me because I have you know tight curls for the most part and I stretch my hair and stuff on a regular basis so it's like uh, I felt like it was a little bit more shrunk, you know, but definitely I feel like it was loving on my curls rather than like, you know, stripping them of all of their natural oils. One of the things we run into as natural curly hair girls, especially um, with our, with our um, small coils is that some stuff that is not naturally formulated for like ethnic women, because even on the back of this, it says... <laughs> For loose waves, right there, for loose waves, where we see it right here, it says for loose waves and well-defined curls without weighing them down. So it almost like tries to say it's not for you, you small coiled girls, you know. Okay, yeah. You always got to read between the lines, or at least we know. We know. If you know, you know, okay? But I feel like you can always like try something out that is for curls because normally, um it will work for your hair too, you know what I'm saying? If you have like a, a, a kind of smaller coil. But I feel like, um, like I was saying, uh, that it will kind of make it like, like draw up, you know what I'm saying? But not in a bad way. Like, oh, what I was gonna say is, what normally happens is it will strip the oils too much. And if it strips the oils too much, like if it didn't have the detangler in here, uh, maybe because of the salts that it has in here, um it may have caused matting and that's what we run into when we don't have like the ethnically like targeted shampoos but also when we get those uh those shampoos sometimes they don't smell as good and that's one thing that i do not like about like a lot of the more ethnic shampoos they tend to be more functional rather than smelling good and so therefore like you know, we want our hair to smell good too, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I do pick up, you know, things that are not necessarily targeted for us, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. All right. So today we're doing some very, very, very comfortable casual um, makeup and um, I am going to talk to you guys about what I was going to talk to y'all about in the other video, but this time it might be a little less makeup but um mainly i want to talk to y'all y'all about shopping and aesthetics y'all because basically i okay i told y'all i was on the level up journey for a long time but for a while i wasn't active like as active like when i was on my own and just trying to figure it out by myself i didn't have like a direction so i was i was basically just like on a whim I would go shopping and grab some things and a lot of times without even thinking about what I already had I'm thinking about it. hold on let me find my mirror real quick okay that was actually super quick but um I basically have revamped my whole shopping strategy okay and it's because naturally for me I would just go to the store and try to like randomly just throw something, you know, in my cart. Oh, this would be cute. Oh, this would be cute. Oh, this would be cute. Without like thinking about what I already had and kind of trying to match things up. So for the last few months and stuff, I, that's what I've been doing. And I'm not going to say months. Actually, it's been like 
two or three years to be honest of like me actually realizing I needed to do that and then kind of like trial and error because you know like for example I showed y'all a really nice necklace that I got in another oh no I didn't show y'all that I'm gonna show y'all the necklace right now I, sh I, sh I was gonna have that in the video that I'm not putting out now but this necklace right here right was supposed to be a gold necklace right I bought it from a boutique on my birthday right you see how the pendant is gold but the whole chain has turned to silver okay now let me tell you I have an explanation y'all I um especially with my jewelry has have been being more intentional and I mentioned to you all about my made well jewelry which I'm going to actually show you all again because I keep forgetting to show you all the second pair of earrings but um yeah so basically i've been trying to be more intentional with my jewelry so i've been picking up like a lot of like gold plated and gold filled jewelry because like i said before y'all i needed more substantial jewelry i wasn't totally in the dark as far as like how i was I, like my jewelry i just had way first of all i had way too much uh too dressy like too flamboyant jewelry where it didn't go with my everyday outfits right not necessarily it was a struggle to pick out like you know I would either end up wearing studs or something just too much right and um I needed something like on a regular basis so um I went, kind of went on a hunt looking for certain things and like I said it was trial and error especially with like stuff like this when we went to this boutique y'all and I'm going to leave a review on their stuff. I'm I'm at this point, like, I'm going to leave a review because we went to this store, right? And it's called Fabrique, right? In uh, Austin, Texas. It's, it's like in Beat Clave area. And I was asking them, like, what's the material on this stuff? Because I'm very adamant also because, again, I have sensitive skin, so I can't wear everything. And the girls that were working the counter were like, oh, yeah, that's all gold plated. Everything is gold plated. And they had another little section that had gold filled jewelry, supposedly. Well, I picked up what they said was gold plated. And th my birthday was August 27th, y'all, the end of August. Today is September 11th. And look, it's already this whole chain is silver. The whole chain is silver, right? I have gold plated necklaces y'all because i've been on this for a minute where it's like i'm very adamant about having substantial necklaces and it's so annoying not this one this one is a is a placeholder uh hold on let me see here this gold plated necklace that i have here so this one is something i got from nordstrom it's a little pineapple and you see how it's it's got a little bit of fading but it's still gold you know what I'm saying? This is a gold plated necklace and it even has like the marking on here to say like it's gold plated silver. So it does have the 925 on there. This one doesn't have any markings, which I guess I should have known. But like when you're selling little necklaces like this for $20, no shade, it should be gold plated or something. Like there's no way you should be selling like like Forever 21 jewelry necklaces for $20, $20 which come out to $25 with tax or whatever and it's going to be faded in like a week or two weeks like that is insane to me like maybe maybe not to some people I don't know or whatever but um what I was trying to do is create a stack of necklaces but I keep running into the BS and not being able to like even use the necklace after a while so it's like now I'm going to have to start buying like certain brands of necklace and I already have some in mind because um I'm just like at a point like what else am I supposed to do like every time I get certain things like like I'm not gonna say every time because it's like of course I'm not buying necklaces every day and I got rid of some too because I did have some fake ones that I just didn't want on my skin anymore just to protect my skin and not that I like I used to get like breakouts in this area but I think mostly from fragrance but in general I just wanted to cut out all the possible toxicities so anyways um because of this setback right now I have to go find another necklace and I really like this because look how thick it is right in comparison to my other necklaces which it would have made for a great stackable necklace like I feel like it would have made for a great one 
um, not maybe not necessarily with this one, but I think that once I get my other one, I'll be able to stack it up against this one. But I'm trying to get a stack, but I can't get one because every freaking time I get one of these and it fades, I don't want to wear it anymore. Okay, literally two weeks ago I bought this, and it's already done for. And I'm like I said, I'm leaving a review, y'all. It's just <sighs> I'm on my I'm writing a letter a letter phase, y'all. <laughs> Girl, I hate that. So, anywho, basically, I've been being very intentional so that I could possibly have like my everyday necklaces and my every or everyday jewelry, uh, rather, you know. So, anyways, let me get these eyebrows on. Where's my other um thing, y'all? And the real reason I didn't put the concealer on my other eyeballs because I ran out of concealer on my hand and I was supposed to put it on there but with me talking and stuff I forgot so here we are <laughs> so yeah but anyways other than that um I have been doing some shopping so I have a haul coming up for you guys so it should be in the next few days or so that I put it out because it's literally downstairs in the mail right now it's 1206 and I gotta be somewhere so I won't be able to film it today. That's why it's gotta take it's gonna take a little minute or two to get it together. But I want to uh show y'all because uh the other thing I want to talk to y'all about was aesthetics, right? And that is because in my other video I kind of talked briefly about how I just feel like like black slash brown women and aesthetic like or aesthetic African American women <laughs> Um, we kind of get put into this aesthetic box where it's like, I don't want to say like, we don't have a choice. Don't get me wrong. We have a choice as to what aesthetic we want to, uh, be or whatever, like put forth, like, li or why can't I find my words today? We have an aesthetic choice, but a lot of us choose or majority of us to the choose certain aesthetics to the point where if you're outside of that box, people like kind of, is it that, I mean, I guess they criticize you, but I feel like I'm looking for another word. They, it's like, they treat you kind of strange. I don't know how else to explain that. But I feel like, depending on what aesthetic, now I'm not talking about like gothic and punk. Some people don't understand that, so I get that. But I'm talking about even like recently what I've done because I feel like I what I needed to do was clean up my aesthetic because as y'all could tell by what I was telling y'all before my aesthetic was kind of random it didn't have any kind of like any direction you know and before you know I feel like that's kind of you know normal in in our community because you know it just kind of there is no real there, we don't put emphasis on dressing up. Like we act like it's not important until we go into the club or go into a birthday party or something like that, you know? But, you know, when I look around and I, and y'all know I sell clothes and stuff and I study this stuff, I see that other cultures and stuff, you know, they have like aesthetics and stuff that they have fun with, especially like the Asian culture. If you look into like Japanese fashion and whatnot, they literally have different aesthetics. And, um, you know, recently people have been talking about that, whether it be like Y2K, 90s, the ones that I tend to kind of like for myself from just, you know, picking through the whole list is like the clean girl aesthetic and like um, the French girl aesthetic. Like this is somewhat kind of in that, you know, French girl slash I also like Victorian Gothic stuff. So I do like lace and you know mix it in with a little black and you know kind of makes that french gothic thing going on like kind of almost uh vintage as well and i think it mixes well with the clean girl aesthetic as well as you know like i said french girl which french girl is more like a collegiate kind of girl where she might wear like super light wash denim with a um maybe like a button-up but you know, the button up has lace trim or 
um, like a light, I'm thinking beige button up, you know, black leather shoes, like a maybe a black leather ballet flat or a sandal or a loafer and a sling bag and a red lip, you know, it can be kind of like that with kind of like maybe a wavy hair, you know, that type of thing. I love that as a clean like look as far as like I'm just running errands. I'm just, you know, in the on the town doing what I got to do or whatever. I think that looks really good um, on me, you know, and um, it's kind of like an ode to my my actual heritage. Like I'm from Louisiana, so there is a Creole esque thing going on there where it kind of melts in with that French girl slash uh, Victorian aesthetic and stuff y'all so um, anywho that's what I've been kind of like working on just getting pieces and stuff that give me that so that when I go into my closet I can put certain things together because I usually think about what I've had before but um, as I was saying like when I kind of started to change my aesthetic I noticed like different stuff some stuff was positive and some stuff was not as positive. It's like people would be like, oh, like I'm trying to be fake bougie because I'm not wearing basically the stereotypical stuff or because I put on a little bit of makeup or because I will wear a red lip or, you know what I'm saying? I might be dressed up and we're just going to the grocery store, but not super dressed up. Y'all know I could be casually dressed up or anybody could be casually dressed up and People, because they're in their pajamas, they feel like you're super dressed up, like you're just doing all the stuff, you know. And today, y'all will kind of see my little kind of casual makeup. Because again, I mean, y'all have seen it anyway, my kind of everyday makeup for just, because this is this is an everyday look. But to some people, they're like, Why, what you doing, you know? I don't know what that is in our community. We really need to stop doing that. But... Anywho, I also feel like it's just also the town that I live in. It's kind of like uh, people don't dress up like that. I don't know. Unless you, I mean, if you go to certain areas, like in Beeclave area, like, like kind of more in the hills area, yeah, you'll see dressed up people. But like here where I am, like a different kind of part of uh, Texas, it's kind of like not that. So... Anywho, I've been learning how to kind of blend in, but at the same time, stand out. Stand out in a good way. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've been working with that. Um, and it's more I wanted to tell y'all. I keep thinking back to, like, what I'm missing from the other video. Oh, my gosh. I hate that I'm, like, re-recording it, but it is what it is, you know? Because I just don't want... People be like, she doesn't even know what she's doing. She forgot to put makeup on one of her eyes. <laughs> but anywho, yeah. But yeah, anyways, that's what I've been doing as, as far as shopping. Oh, oh, oh. And I need to show y'all my um my earrings. <sighs> my life. My life, my life, my life. I can't do this. I'm fucking over this today. Like literally, I'm fucking over this. I forgot to wash my fucking face. Because I was thinking about how I forgot to fucking... And of course, I think about it after I put all this freaking makeup on. Hold on, y'all. Fucking over it, y'all. Do y'all ever do that? Like, I literally was like watching my other video. I uploaded it and everything. And then I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to do another video. So I sat down and got ready to do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash around the eye area. Because... What the fudge? I mean, I wash my, fa my face every night and every morning, but I can't think about not washing my face and having makeup on it. So I'm going to do this real quick. <sighs> so over it today, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm having such a hard day already. I have other stuff to do, y'all. That's why I'm like so hard on myself right now. <sighs> oh, God. So aggravating, y'all. All because I just want to show, I want to preempt my other video because basically what I was wanting to tell y'all is while I was trying to figure out my aesthetics, I realized that I left out the sexy stuff. So the French girl aesthetic can be sexy if you, you know, like 
French girl aesthetics, you can have like a a slip dress, for example. Some girls, like the younger girls, will wear like a t-shirt under the slip dress. Like, it'll look like this, but obviously it'll be a dress, but they'll wear a t-shirt under it. But like, you know, for your girls who are, you know, old enough and stuff, they'll wear the slip dress, you know, just regular, maybe a leather jacket and a cute pair of like maybe maybe heels, you know, or maybe sandals, depending on where they're going, right? And you could kind of have this kind of raw, sexy vibe with that. But I feel like some of the stuff I just, I stopped getting like certain types of tops, for example. Like I've been on Shein and I've been looking and actually that's where my stuff, some of my stuff came from, whereas some of my other stuff came from Poshmark. So, yeah. But anyways, maybe y'all will enjoy seeing my little routine. This right here is an aloe, aloe mist, aloe water mist. And I spray it on my face before I put on uh, some moisturizer. Uh, because I don't use like a normal moisturizer because I can't ever find one that actually works for me. So I, just, I kind of made up my own thing and basically I used what I know about science to do it and what I noticed is that we need more water you know everybody like when I was younger everybody was like you don't want a moisturizer that is that is oil based because it'll clog your pores but what I've realized is we do need oil though you need water and you need oil the thing is you need water first so that your skin can like absorb the water after you wash your face with soap and then the oil what it does and I just use like a little drop you know uh, I didn't put enough the first time and basically you let the water kind of start to dissipate and some of it will soak in and you just seal it with with oil and it actually acts for me as a uh, as a uh, primer so I don't use primer on my face okay I just use this water and oil combination the oil kind of sits underneath the makeup and I haven't had any issues with breaking out or anything like that so oh Jesus <laughs> oh Lord yes I want to start the video all the way over but I don't have time to do that so we're gonna see how it turns out even with all the mess ups and <laughs> Hopefully y'all will still appreciate it because I am goddamn over it, girl. All because I didn't put makeup on one eyeball in my other video. Okay. All right. So uh, we got our concealer on both eyeballs and underneath our nose and on our cheek. I'm going to stop for a moment so I can show y'all my Madewell earrings, okay? So I showed y'all before in a different video, but I only showed y'all one pair because... I don't know. I don't know why I did that. <sighs> I have two pairs that I bought. So as far as for everyday aesthetic or everyday look. So I have these, right? And these are kind of small. I understand, y'all. Some people might be like, oh my God, they're so small. Da, da, da. Um, I'm not wearing these today because uh, I got a lot to do. I don't want to wear these particularly. Well, when I say I got a lot to do, it's mostly in the house stuff. I'm going to wear like studs today. Um, but these right here are, I bought these for every day because I'm a gold, usually a gold jewelry wearer. I think today I'm going to go ahead and wear silver. And then, um, these ones were $22 and they're just some regular normal ones. And I'll probably use them for my second hole once I can find another, uh, pair that is like a different texture and a little bit bigger to wear in the first hole. And that'll be like my everyday look. Now, these ones right here, I switched between the ones that I just showed y'all and these because these, when I went bought, when I went to go buy the other ones, these were on sale for $15, so I didn't want to leave them. And they're basically almost the same, but they have like little engraved flowers on them. And again, like I said, they were $15, I don't know if y'all can see that, $15.99. I don't know. I don't know how, I can't tell which part, which way is like the right way, but I think that is. But they were basically fifteen ninety nine, and as you can see, it's um, it says made with recycled metal, but the post the post on here um, is a titanium post, and so it's hypoallergenic. Here it is. It says right there, titanium post, which so it's hypoallergenic. So 
it actually is good to spend up a little bit on your jewelry so that your jewelry is not like some random metal that's just seeping into your skin as you just you know walk around for the day especially when it's hot 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 outside and stuff so anywho today what i'm going to be wearing is these little studs because i just want simple jewelry today that like i always get kind of weary if i'm like like, I'm going to be doing a little bit of heavy lifting. I have some stuff in the car. Like, I have to go get out for, from doing uh, some thrifting yesterday. And I just don't want to be like... <laughs> like, those earrings, those Maywell, Maywell earrings, they do have a little weight to them. And I'm scared that, like... I don't know. It's in the back of my mind that I might wear them down and they might fall out or something. And I do not want to lose them. Because I just got them and I really want to get my other pair. <laughs> So I can start wearing them. Like I hate when something happens to a pair and now I gotta start over because I'm trying to like create a stack like I was doing with the necklaces as well. So these little earrings, I'll show you the other one because this one is giving me a hard time a little bit. So I just wanna hurry up and get it in. Um, These little earrings are studs that I bought a while back from Marshalls and they're Swarovski Sorosk crystals. I can't never say that word. And I love it because they're like these little squares, but they're like, uh, they're kind of off center. And when you get in front of it, it looks purple. And then on the side it's clear, but there's like this little purple, like it kind of changes as you go. So depending on what angle somebody's looking at you from, they'll see a color or they'll see like a clear, like silver, um, like just like a crystal on top of a silver post. So. And the, they are actually silver. These are actually real silver. So, uh, yeah. And then I'm just going to wear like a little ring or something. But I think I put my ring over there uh, today or whatever. And I actually don't have a silver necklace because I'm a gold girl. So, yeah. So, these will be the earrings that I'm wearing or whatever today. Just so because I got a lot of heavy lifting to do. And I'm not really going anywhere super special. I do have to go to the post office. But it's not a whole lot of stuff I need to do. It's going to be like in and out with the post office. So I'm really, really being kind of more casual today. And it's hot out. <laughs> and I really need to edit my video. So I'm mostly going to just be in the house, to be honest. So I'm kind of like, today is more casual than it would have been for my other video. So, But next time y'all see me, I'll be showing y'all the things that I uh, got from Shein. And the little stuff that I bought from Poshmark and stuff um so yeah so yeah but y'all let me know if y'all relate to what i'm doing because i kind of feel like i do like some people might feel like i think too much about it but i'm really coming out of a time where i used to not think about how i purchased my jewelry at all like i was not intentional i would like i had to throw away so much stuff just because I bought stuff like just for a quick fix like oh I need to go I'm we're going to the club tonight let me um let me purchase you know a quick pair of earrings and then I don't want to wear them because they're way too dressy for every day and they just don't have an occasion other than going out so I got rid of a lot of old stuff and I'm trying to kind of basically start from scratch to a degree um also, what I've been doing is I've been using this black rate. It's black. I'm lying. You know, it is. It is black radiance palette. Uh, after I use this, this is Makeup Revolution powder, uh, and I love this because it's like really matte. But it's as you can see, it's kind of really white. Actually, before I do that, I need to put on a little bit of foundation so my face isn't like one dimension. So we'll just do a little bit of foundation just for contouring because we're not trying to do a full face today. Then people just turned off my water right now. They didn't even tell y'all. I am gagging. I am gagging right now. Do y'all see what is happening? This morning I woke up and there was a bunch of banging outside of my freaking um good thing I already brushed my teeth. There was a bunch of banging downstairs and now my water is off 
because they're working on something. But usually at an apartment, they're supposed to tell you if the water is going to be off at any point in the day. And they didn't tell us anything, y'all. Oh my God. This apartment dwelling is something else, y'all. Like, it looks good on freaking TV. But girl, this stuff ain't about nothing at all. I'm telling you. But I'm going to be moving soon. So I'm not worried about it. But that just really irked my soul. I just had to use whatever is in here to wet my sponge so I can actually do my makeup. Because they didn't even warn me that my water would be up. That's crazy. And in case y'all think, oh, I didn't pay the bill, it's allocated, okay, <laughs> through my rent. So it's paid, okay, y'all. <sighs> Life. But this is all, this is what I'm talking about. This is the random stuff that'll go on. And I'm like, really? But anywho, yeah. So anyways, I wanted to put on a little bit of, of uh, foundation because um, I'm about to do, use this right here, which I'm using the middle color because I'm not using the new one that I bought. If I even showed y'all the new one, um, this is the new one because I ran out of the actual dark one. Actually, I've, I've dropped this a bunch of times, so it broke. But I started using the middle one over this uh, loose powder because of how white it is. And I think this one makes it look a little bit more airbrushed. Like, and I love the color of it. So it's a little bit more tan. It has a little bit more brown in it or something like that. So I've been doing this lately to kind of like oh, give it just an airbrush look. Okay. And I actually like Makeup Revolution. I've understood now. <laughs> it's kind of a new brand for me in makeup. And I kind of like it so far. So yeah. Let me see. I'm just going to use my uh, finishing powder today. I'm not going to do contour. And stuff. So, yeah. Oh, some in the top. Oh, I love that. So, just a little bit of finishing powder today. And, um, yeah. So I think it blends better with that that sculpting powder from the Makeup Revolution palette. It looks so much better right here than some of my other videos just because this is just, it just, it's so white. So, and it might help with flashback. I don't know because I haven't taken any flash pictures with it. So we'll see. Also, I got a new um, spray, a new fix spray or whatever. So, um... I was using e.l.f. and e.l.f. was pretty good for a little while, but I wanted to try something else because also I felt like it does like, it's the cheapest one, so it's not the best one. Uh, this one is supposed to be matte fix and I think it actually really does help stay matte. Now, some girls, they spray it throughout the day to keep the matte. I don't do that. I'll just blot if I need to, but basically I've been just using this when I put my makeup on and just one time for the day so <laughs> went in my mouth a little bit <laughs> but also I realized um I gotta spray this one a little bit more because it has a better like mister so the mist is like really like fine and um with elf like it would be like big old blots sometimes that'll come out and you'll have like droplets and stuff so I absolutely love this one for the product and for the mister. So, yeah. All right. So I need to put on a little bit of darker shadow in my creases. And I'm not going to do it too dark because it's the daytime. And I don't like dark creases in the daytime. But I don't want just one color either on my eyes. So I'm going to... This is actually an e.l.f. palette that I've been using for ages now. And I just use like brown, maybe a little bit of that one, just to, you know, darken my crease a little bit. Makes it, it makes the eye look more finished, I feel. When you just add a little bit, not too much during the day. But the thing about it is when you do it a little bit, 
during the day and if you need to like transition to nighttime all you gotta do is just add a little more so and then maybe thicken your eyeliner a little bit and then you'll be good to go so yeah yeah I'm gonna spray the finishing spray again or the matte spray again I just sprayed a few times during my makeup so that I can make it look like skin at the end and not powder or whatever time is it okay okay we gotta get the ball rolling which is why i couldn't start the video over y'all y'all just gonna have to deal with me okay <laughs> deal with me and my growing pains i guess y'all they really got my water off right now i'm gagging like ugh. like i can't believe that i want to go get my phone and see if i have any kind of text message or email from the apartment saying that my water is off. Like when I leave this apartment, y'all, I have so much to say about this apartment. Like I learned from my last apartment not to like do a bad review while I still live here. <laughs> uh, basically, but girl, I got pictures and all type of crazy stuff. This is a nice apartment, don't get me wrong, but they just do crazy stuff here. Like, they literally got the water off in my building right now. It's so crazy. And today I'm not doing lashes either. I was like watching my other video and I was like, they're going to be like, she never does lashes. I really do sometimes, y'all, but I just haven't been able to like be able to bother with it. Because y'all know if you're doing your lashes and you've already done your liner or if you already done your eye shadow, sometimes like you mess it up and you got to start over, got to take it off and do your eyeshadow again. I just don't have time for that some days. And I'm not filming anything or doing anything special today. So we'll be okay. Try and get a little. A little wingtip going. Just getting your eyes to match, like, <laughs> ooh, it's such a task some days. It's such a task. Like, I love those girls that can do the, I can't do that right now. Mm -mm. I just do the best I can, child. Okay. Okay, so that's basically what it's going to be. Sometimes I slide my hand along there just so I can get that little sharp edge. You know, get a little sharp edge going. For my eye liner and stuff. And then, oh. Oh, my lips are in my purse still, though. Let's see, do I have anything in here I could do a little lip with? Because I took it out and put it in my other purse because I just wanted to have certain stuff. Let's see, do I have anything in here? All I have in here, oh, it might be cute with this black shirt to do like a actual colored lip. Do I have a, a, a liner? Let me see. Ooh, gotta be careful. 
This is a, I think it's a stain, a lip stain, which I love. And it's super French girl aesthetic to do lip stain. I might put a little lip liner on, but it's in my bag right now. But this is by ColourPop. Not bad, huh? I like that. I love lip stains because it just looks so like, I don't know, like it's better to me than a lipstick where a lipstick is like so full coverage. Lip stain just looks like lip gloss. And then when you like kind of lick it off or whatever, just by eating or something, it just looks, you know, like you had on a lip gloss, like a tinted lip balm. It's not like so aggressive as a lipstick or whatever. So, yeah, I just don't like leaving y'all with no lip. <laughs> I don't like doing that. This was all over the place today, y'all. But <laughs> we got here, didn't we? We got here finally, okay? So, today this is this is somewhat French girl aesthetic. Like, I'm going to put some other pants on. Y'all see my shorts because I was looking for my perfume. Y'all weren't supposed to see them. But um, I'm going to put on, like, some little shorts or... A pants I don't know exactly I think I'm gonna do pants today uh, no it's too hot I probably do shorts to be honest so we'll see but this is from the from here up you know it's giving French girl it's giving clean girl it's giving you know those types of things hold on let me put my ring on sometimes I wear this ring as a fake engagement ring when I don't want to be bothered but this is a I usually I wear it on my middle my middle finger here and y'all can see I got makeup on my hand but I'll get that off in just a second but yeah, this is the look, you know, just something, you know, put together, you know, to go out and just run some errands real quick. And yeah. So anyways, next time y'all will see the clothes that I bought and the little jewelry and stuff that I bought too. I can't wait to show y'all. So leave me a comment, leave me a like, and I will see y'all next time.